All right, Washington, D.C. has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the country, disproportionately impacting black women. Mama Toto Village is working to change that number and was recently selected as the recent recipient of the Merck for Mothers Safer Childbirth Cities Initiative Grant. I talked to founder and director Asa Niadri, who shared with me how the grant will help their mission. Take a look. Asa, it's great to have you on our show today. We want to talk all about Mama Toto Village and what you do to help expecting mothers and new moms as well with your services. First, tell us, what is it all about? Mama Toto Village, we are located in Ward 7 in the District of Columbia, um, and we offer cl non-clinical support services during pregnancy, birth, and postpartum to include home visiting, labor support, lactation, childbirth education, support groups, and more, as well as a workforce development training. So our services are really intended to bridge the gaps for communities in DC and in PG County um, who are really existing on the margins and to ensure that our services are both accessible. Um, and for us, you know, we primarily serve Black women and birthing people. Our services and our work is relationship-based. It is reproductive justice-centered, and it exemplifies a cultural overlay and intentionality and design in the way that we deliver our care. Um, our staff um, is 100% reflective of the communities that we serve, um, and we really try to engage um, in this bi-directional exchange between our clients and in our community. Excellent. Your services are so needed. And I understand you just received a large grant, right? Who did you get the grant from? And then what will you do with that money? Yeah, so we were the recipient of a grant um, from Merck for Mothers through their Safe for Childbirth Cities initiative. Excellent. And we really intend to use this funding to address several aspects of maternal health and, and things that intersect with maternal health in a district. So we're going to be partnering with the Health Justice Alliance and Georgetown University and many other community members and key stakeholders to really achieve three key three key goals. So first goal is to advance the quality of care for Black birthing people across the economic spectrum using a reproductive justice lens um, with a unique focus on those who are experiencing homelessness, housing insecurity, and a really existing in conditions of environmental degradation. So really looking at those environmental justice issues and how they connect with housing um, and really focusing uh, critically on the prenatal and the postpartum period. Also, we plan to use this community participatory research framework, which means that the community is, is a partner in the creation and the dissemination of research. Um, and we will complete a needs assessment to really help us better understand this issue. And then from that needs assessment, um, working to create a community coalition that will use the information that we glean um, to hopefully advance policy in the district around these issues. We know with the new president too, President Biden, it's on his agenda to talk about maternal mortality. Uh, what do you hope that he does and his administration does as far as the black disparities when we're seeing this problem? Yeah, so earlier, um, actually a few days ago, um, under the leadership of Congresswoman Lauren Underwood and um, Congresswoman Alma Adams, uh, Senator Cory Booker, and now Vice President Kamala Harris, um, uh, they reintroduced the Black Maternal Health Momnibus. And so it's a package of bills that really intends to fill the gap in existing legislation that comprehensively addresses every dimension of Black maternal health crisis in the United States. Um, and these bills are really making some critical investments in social determinants and funding to community-based organizations who serve and care for um, Black birthing people to address um, diversifying the perinatal workforce and data and mental health and, and incarcerated uh, birthing people and so many other aspects that really need to be focused on to move the needle in maternal health. And so I really hope that this administration will pass all 12 of these bills, because not only is it historic, um, but I truly believe that it will help us get to the outcomes that we need to see for Black birthing people. Absolutely. It sounds like it's at least positioned in the right place for that. We know that uh, new mothers, expecting mothers, pregnancy is tough. I can't imagine during the pandemic as well. So thank you for all that you're doing and thank you for joining thank us today. You. Thank you for having me. You can find more information at mamatotavillage.org.